Pleasure to meet all y'all. And yeah, today I want to talk about how ClickUs helps Anthropic scale observability. Um, let's see. So what is Anthropic? Uh, if you haven't heard of us, uh, we're an AI safety and research. Oh, I can see my slides there. Uh, we're an AI safety and research company. Fundamentally, we build reliable, interpretable, and steerable AI systems. Uh, we developed a Claude series of large language models. Um, recently, we launched state-of-the-art models, uh, Claude Opus 4 and Sonnet 4. Uh, try it out today at Claude.ai. I highly recommend it. Uh, I use it every day, and it's made my life. All right, who am I? Uh, I am on the observability team uh, here at Anthropic. Uh, before that, I was at Stripe, and I worked on language infrastructure. Very different, but oh well. So what happened? How are we here? Well, uh, let's say about a year ago, uh, Claude 3 was launched, and people started taking notice. And then at some point, Claude 3.5 was launched, and uh, things hit the fan. Uh, and then we have Claude 4, and we were sort of on this exponential uh, growth is crazy. So how do you support this growth? Well, you need some amount of compute. Turns out you need a lot more compute. And it turns you need like a whole lot of compute. Uh, well, what happens when you have a lot of compute? You need some amount of data to see like, oh, is my system running? Does it work? What happens, I think you can guess, is you get a lot more data, and then you get a whole lot of data. Uh, what happens when you have a whole lot of data? Your database catches fire. Um, what else happens when you have a lot of data? Your queries start timing out. Your database engi your engineers start getting frustrated. Uh, what else happens? Well, money catches fire. Uh, what else happened? Uh, so with the Claude Opus 4 uh, models, uh, our models have been getting increasingly, increasingly capable. As I talked about, we're fundamentally also an AI safety company. Uh, this means we take like ensuring that we're putting in the right protections necessary very seriously. Uh, we recently lodged a blog post about how we've activated AI safety level three uh, protections for Claude Opus 4. In particular, one of these was really relevant for us when we set out to not have a database which is on fire, uh, which is that we uh, are trying to protect our model weights. We are worried that strong, like extremely capable model weights uh, can be used by bad actors to achieve extremely bad outcomes. To prevent that, uh, we very aggressively monitor any egress from our clusters, and in particular, also drive down the egress from our clusters. That is, no data should leave Anthropic's secure computing environment, or we need to ingest a huge volume of data in real time. We need fast, interactive, feature-rich analytics over semi-structured data. We need to, it to be deployed in Anthropic's secure computing environment, and we need a scalable cost structure. Another thing that would be great is if it can in, uh, integrate with all of the sort of like standard observability ecosystem out there. Hmm, I wonder what this could possibly be. So uh, the best way to find out what I want to use is it would be great if I could go ask a super intelligence about what I should be using. Uh, it would be really convenient if I had one lying around. Uh, so I went to one, and I asked it, and it told me, based on your criteria, I'd recommend ClickHouse. Oh, wow. Uh, it supports real-time engines at scale, fast analytics, deployment flexibility, and cost-effective scaling. This sounds great. Um, but one more thing that we were looking for was low operational cost. My team had three people until January. Uh, we don't want to go crazy. So here's how you might typically deploy a ClickHouse. Uh, if you use the open source version, is you have multiple shards. For each shard, you have multiple replicas. And you know how it goes, right? It's open source, it's great, uh, quick to get started. Uh, it's tried and tested, you get great performance. Uh, but this involves managing disks, managing replication, resharding, uh, the whole hoopla, life is not fun. Or, well, it's fun because you have click-offs. Uh, but the operational cost is high. Uh, this is undesirable. Now, click us, develop click us cloud. Here, uh, you have horizontal scalability. Wait, let's see, yeah, dynamic scaling is backed by cost-efficient and reliable blob storage, powers all of click us cloud, but it's only available on ClickHouse Cloud. Hmm. Oh, and we need it to be deployed with an Anthropic secure computing environment. Uh, unfortunately, that is not ClickHouse Cloud. But ClickHouse and Anthropic come together. <laughs> and we now have an air gap deploy in Anthropic secure compute environment. Uh, that's supposed to be green. Oh, yeah, there you go. And operational cost is green. Everything is green. I am green. Um, <laughs> so how do we deploy ClickHouse? Oh, OK, for some reason, all the colors are inverted, but it's fine. You get the point. Um, we deploy with Kubernetes in our secure environment. Uh, the ClickHouse operator, the Kubernetes operator, orchestrates the cluster. Uh, we have three keepers, one per AZ. 
Uh, it's horizontally scalable, so it makes scaling ingest and query super easy. Uh, it's infinite, reliable, and cost efficient, like disk with object storage. Uh, Modern it with Prometheus, so it like integrates with all your great standard tools, so it's like pretty easy to operate. Uh, and for ingest, we use Vector. Uh, if you're not familiar with Vector, it's like a simple agent uh, that sort of acts as your like uh, to orchestrate your observability pipelines. Uh, it's great. Would recommend using it. And everything critically is deployed in Anthropic's environment and operated us entirely. So what happened? The database is green, uh, queries are lightning fast, and uh, money is not on fire as much. Um, I really want to stress that this is, the, by the database is green, what I mean is uh, our database operators with our prior solution used to lose sleep, used to be frustrated and could not work on what they really wanted to work on because they were spending all of their time going on the database, contacting support, asking them to like, I don't know, reshard the thing, oh no, write replication is falling behind, uh, none of that. They just came back to me and they're like, yeah, I haven't noticed the database running for a while. Um, all right, cool. So where do we go from here? One, I talked about Cloud4. Uh, ClickHouse played an instrumental role in helping us develop and ship Cloud4. Developing Cloud4, it's one of the most advanced state-of-the-art language models out there. And doing that involved a lot of sophisticated analysis to help us like scale all of our training pipelines. And ClickHouse played an instrumental role in helping us like understand the performance and like how our models are progressing as we train them. So it's already delivered a significant value, helping create state-of-the-art language models out there. Two, one thing we're very excited about is agentic analytics. Uh, ClickHouse introduced their MCP server, and I believe Alexi and team will be talking about this later a bunch, and I'm super excited for that. Um, with the MCP server, we have the ability to connect ClickHouse to Cloud. Uh, so for example, we use Cloud Code, which is an agentic coding product. Uh, the MCP server lets Cloud Code agentically query uh, ClickHouse. I'm really excited about this because in my mind, observability analytics, it's not about SQL, it's not about PromQL, it's about questions. And you wanna be able to give a question and get back the answers you need. Fundamentally, that's what it's about. And agentic analytics, I'm really excited to sort of enable that. Third, we're hiring. Uh, if you wanna help build the future of agentic analytics and uh, help build Cloud, uh, please come talk to me. Thank you. <laughs>